What is up guys, welcome you faces back to a brand new video. Today we've got an exciting car. I've always been interested in these as well. We've got a Golf R that's coming in for a full splitter kit. The owner of this Golf, um, he has been here before, but not in the Golf. He did have the Jaguar XE. When we first got this place, we wrapped the roof in a gloss black. He's now sold that XE and he's now got this Golf R. And the color is just so nice. You usually see him in the red, the um, blue and the white this one's like a uh, limestone gray i think it is but it matches the car so nice it looks so so good as well also while we're here remember car meet this sunday um 12th of may right here at this place new rusty auto stickers will be available as well so as you can see there's plenty of space you may not have seen the end of the insignia yet um but that is not here anymore you'll have to wait for that video we're not going to put the two videos up together so there's two Insignia videos. We may just put up the Insignia video Monday, this video Tuesday, and then another Insignia video Wednesday, but we'll see, we may put them both together, but we've got plenty of space to work on this now. We've uh, took everything out, we've had a right deep clean the other day. Um, we had a few guys coming on Sunday, so make sure you come in, make sure you are supporting the channel, smash that like button, and uh, let's get this Golf R in. So this is a Golf R, let's have a quick look round. 16 plate This is the color I was talking about you don't really see them in this color very much They're usually in the white the red and the blues Excuse the noise. That's just been standing on bubble wrap <laughs> I like the uh, Exhaust exits on these as well. They're really really nice cars bubble wrap again But they are really really nice inside Got All the nice lights dash Seats, this is the five door as well. Seats are put down at the minute, I'll just show you. But they put down because obviously they bought the splitters and that to us. Um, so, over here, this is what we've got. We've got the TRC kit, which is over there also. So, you'll have to excuse the noise, this is me walking on this ball wrap. This is just on the floor to protect these. So these are the rare, like, like spats. These sit on these ends, and then same on the other side as well. Um, this one is for the driver's side to go a specific way, and then that one is for the passenger side. He's having literally all around skirts. They come with all the fixings and everything else as well. Now this is the front splitter. It uh, curves up in the middle. <clears throat> you can see there, again, bubble wrap on the floor to protect it. Also, you can see all the pre-drilled holes so we know where we're fixing it to there's a lot to put in here so you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen you filthy animal <laughs> <laughs> so yeah there's 13 bolts that we've got to put in just the front splitter so let's crack on hey eh, jackie boy shall we jack the car up and get started which yeah. bit do you want to do first you want to do rare ones because they're easiest. <laughs> no, splitter. You want to do splitter first? Jack, do you like golf R's? Love them. <laughs> That's sarcasm, isn't it? You tell. It's now progressed. We've realised that the front bumper has to come off because there's an under tray underneath. All the plastics, the radiating, everything's in the way. So you can't get a spanner or anything under there to help you um, lock the bolts in place. Obviously you don't want them too tight, but you want them so it's not gonna fall off. So, Jack's taking off everything under there. The under tray's off, the grill's out. Um, very straightforward to get them out. Just bolt here, bolt there, and then it literally just pulls straight up. Looks like volts, so I'm gonna like to make things awkward because part of the wiring loom's connected here to the mm. front bumper. They need a slap. <laughs> yes, they do need a slap. Um, but again, here, you can see there's a bit of an oil leak as well somewhere or some sort of leak so we may have a quick look at that while it's off as well and just advise the uh, owner of that as we always do just so he's aware curtis is loving life on his phone yeah curtis has got his new car as well no. in fact they haven't seen that have they no no what's up jack curtis do you want to swap jobs no actually you we wouldn't be able to you won't be able to do man and i wouldn't be able to do yours i'll give it a go you have to turn a computer on yeah oh you might be able to then. Yeah. That's how you do it, plug something in and press a button. Isn't yeah, it's easy. No, you put two cables together and <laughs> cause a fire. <laughs> so let's go and look at Gertis' car. 
You haven't seen this yet? Yeah, 350 is a bit battered. Ignore him. Yeah. It's Probably fine. Rather it's fine. Um, but yeah, a little 19 plate Corsa. It's, VX line. It's the VX line, a VX line, isn't it? VX line. Yeah. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. The interior is nice as well. You can't really, there we go, look. Yeah, that looks nice. Bit of an upgrade from your last one, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. It's a little bit quicker, but not as quick as a VXR. So. But you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? Definitely. Get them no claims up, boy. Got to get them no claim bonuses. <laughs> Let's go back to uh, this bad boy. And I don't Why mean turn Jack. the wheels with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just took this front bumper off now. Um, we've had to take this off as well, this plastic. There's literally just some clips that you have to unlock and it pulls straight forward. We've had to take this off to get the bolts where they need to be because you need to be able to get underneath here to be able to put the nut on. Now that gives us access to actually get under there. Um, this is on a mat as well. We've also got bits underneath and on bubble wrap. So it is protected, so do not worry. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna drill all the holes for this through the bumper. You don't really need to see that, so we aren't gonna show you all that process. Uh, what we, I may show you just us putting some bolts through um, and tightening them up to put that back on. So let's get on. So after a large battle, this is now on. It looks uh, 10 times better, to be fair. It does look really nice. Jack's loving his life underneath that car. <laughs> These are so, so awkward to do. Like, extremely, extremely awkward. Bumper has to come off. Side skirts, I'm pretty sure we're gonna take the side skirts off as well. Um, also the bolts that they sent, some are too big, some are too long, some don't fit properly, some you have a little plastic under tray on the inside of the bumper, the front bumper, you gotta pull that out, and if you use the two big screws, you can't push that back in. So you have to use the smaller screws or bolts, which they don't really send enough. So we've had to improvise and get some other ones that we already had lying around and put them ones in instead, which unfortunately when you're buying something like this, you shouldn't really expect to do. So I think as well, Jack, have we got to take this back bumper off? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> We're hoping we don't have to take this back bumper off, um, just to get these side spots on, but it's, again, it's getting a spanner on the inside to make sure that that nut is tight, because if that nut's not tight, you know, it's going to end up elsewhere, which, again, we don't want, we want to make sure that this person is happy with what he's got and he knows it's not going to come off. So, without further ado, I believe we're going to jump onto, are we doing side skirts now, Jack? Yeah, driver's side. Yeah, so we're going to do the driver's side, um, side skirt. Um, and yeah, let's see how this one goes, shall we? So, quick update for you guys. We've used the jacks to hold this up, but the side skirt is on. You can see there, or well, the side splitter. The, with this kit, this is a TRC kit. Um, you've got the five bolts. Is it five bolts underneath there, isn't there? Um, but what we've done to help us is we put a little bit of double-sided tape on. Um, in between the bolts just to hold it up. We also use the jacks to put them in place as well to hold it and keep it where it needs to be. So we've just got two more bolts put on, haven't we, in there? But you can see already it's holding itself up, so there's no issue there. Um, we did have to undo the screws for the side skirt. You've got one sat down here. There's one sat underneath here somewhere, T20. There's also one at the front as well, just there. You do need to do that so you can get a span around the back to tighten them up but they are thankfully a lot more straightforward than the front bumper so what we're going to do is we're going to jump onto this side and then we're going to get back to you after that but yeah this is this is a bigger job than we thought to be fair with the vxr so easy to do um you didn't even have to take the front bumper off you've got plenty of room to put your hands around to tighten the bolts but these everything is just so compact the trc kits are the better kits they are um, a lot stronger fiberglass I tend to find that the Maxim Design ones are quite poorly made and they do shatter quite easy. So let's crack on with that other side. So we've checked off uh, the rare ones. You have to take the arch liner out to get your arm around so you can actually get a spanner in to tighten the bolt. So we're going to do that off camera because again, you don't really need to see that. But the other side skirt is pretty much on now as well. Jack's just finishing up the little touches. So if you guys want anything done, this just shows that we don't just do mechanical things and wrapping. We do engine mods. Um, car mods, visual mods, we pretty much do everything. So again, link down below, Rusty Autos, or messages on Instagram if you want any work doing.
The all-around splitters are now fitted to the Golf R, which is absolutely great. It looks really, really nice. Like the, the gloss black with this grey, um, it, it really, really pops. Like, really, really pops. It looks so good. Um, I am going to show you what they look like in a little um, video in a second. I may put a little bit of music over it. But, to be fair, doing this, um, it was a little bit harder than we thought with the front bumper. The side skirt's pretty easy. Um, just them three sc screws you need to undo. The rear um, splitters, again, with those you do have to undo the wheel arch lining so you can get your hand in with the spanner just to tighten them nuts. Um, the front splitter was probably the most difficult because you have to take off the bumper, take off the under tray, uh, which is a bit of a struggle, really. Um, it's something that you don't expect to do when doing a splitter. Again, like I mentioned, the VXR splitter was really, really easy. You just had to put your arm around. Uh, pretty straightforward, really. Um, I didn't even take my bumper off when I did mine, I don't think. Oh, wait, no, I did for the new one. So when I had my Maxim Designs one, that was a really, really bad um, quality. These TRC quality uh, splitters are really, really spot on. I've had mine for about a year and a half now and it's still going strong even though i am running really low this probably won't be the last you see on this car as well he's going to want some more bits doing i know he wants some bits wrapping as well so again another customer coming back and another satisfied customer so yeah let's show you this uh, little cinematic your reflection in my wine glass that's when i look away can't say anything about losing your fine ass how the fuck i let you slip away like for the party but i'm dead inside kill my vibes it was genocide Hard to act like I've been alive I'm trying to find where I identify One time for the girl that got away Two times for the bub I'm about to spray Three times for the power that I pray to Are you up there? Can you hear me? I know I fucked up That was a great video guys Make sure you hit that subscribe button Also check out Instagram for daily content